Epic, the fashion innovation agency, and Burberry recently collaborated on a 3D interactive experience in Unreal Engine. And we'd like to take you behind the scenes. I'm Matthew Drinkwater, head of the Fashion Innovation Agency at London College of Fashion. We always want to work with fashion brands and companies that are interesting in pushing the boundaries of what's possible with technology and so have a very close working relationship with the team at Burberry. Together we decided that using Unreal Engine would be a really exciting opportunity to demonstrate how we can create new ways of storytelling within the fashion industry. Hi there, my name is Kostas Kazantzis and I'm the creative technologist at the Fashion Innovation Agency, which is part of London College of Fashion. Today I'm going to show you how to bring a digital fashion piece together by creating an immersive interactive experience in Unreal Engine. The really important first step in this process is to basically try and identify the aesthetic of how the experience is going to look like. It really helps me, like, before I start working within the 3D space, to just try and have an initial idea, try to visualize what I'm thinking of. So for that, I'm usually doing, like, image research, but also I worked a lot in looking into past projects of Burberry as a brand. After that visual research, I had to create a landscape where I played around with lots of tools in regards to sculpting the terrain, painting the terrain. I had to work on different materials. The next step was to gather a collection of 3D content that was going to be used to dress that environment. And that refers to all the different cliffs that you are seeing within the experience, any rocks that are part of it. That was one of the most time-consuming parts of the process because I needed to play around with the sizes, how it looked from all the different perspectives. Because when you're working in the 3D space, you just have to think as you're thinking in the real world. You design everything in a 360 format, so you need to be conscious about how it looks from all perspectives. I wanted like that combination between the natural environment, so the coastal cliffs and the water, and then also I wanted to bridge that with something a bit more contemporary and more modern. So I found this really nice bike stand, which was really small, but then I started thinking of how it would look like if I made it like massive and then played around with a lot of them and did like different layouts of all those bike stands together. I wanted it to provide that contradiction between the very photoreal natural environment and something that you wouldn't be able to see there. When I'm working in the 3D space, I'm really interested in not just copying a physical location, but also adding layers of, of abstraction that are not possible to achieve in the physical world. So after I placed the 3D assets in the environment and started to take form, the next really important part was the scene lighting. For this environment, I knew that I didn't want the sky to be very realistic, so I didn't want to work a lot with clouds. I wanted like this pastel color of the sky, one color, and then I also used like an emissive material to create something which resembles the moon. In some cases, the garments needed to be a bit more well lit, so for that purpose, I usually use spotlights and point lights, which you can basically identify the exact position, placement, uh, intensity, and color. Camera placement is one of the most important parts. It's the last step, but it's like, for me, one of the most important parts in showcasing an experience. So within Unreal, you have like lots of different tools that allow you to animate the cameras. I'm working a lot with rails, where you can basically identify a path for your camera if you want it to be circling particular objects. There is also a feature which allows you to lock your camera on a target. So for example, if you want to show a garment from all perspectives, you can lock the camera to be looking at the garment while it moves across the rail. The most important part in terms of placing and animating the cameras is first of all to identify the most iconic parts within the environment where all of the assets are shown really well together. And then again, where are the garments at and from which perspectives you want to capture them. 
Some people like think that using these kinds of tools and new technologies is very complicated. However, I can assure you that it's not. The most important thing is to try to have an initial idea of what you want to create and then gradually work towards this. Of course, this is a process of failing and succeeding and failing and succeeding, so you need to be really open to experimenting and to learning new things. The prospect of learning a new software can be daunting, but it's like any learning experience. You take your first few steps, and now it's your turn to use Unreal and create your own interactive fashion experience.